Yellow. There are many ways to train your knuckles. Punching sand, hitting the heavy bag without gloves. For me, I've always sought to do knuckle push-ups on hardwood floors, and as you can see here, the first two knuckles are overdeveloped. I always train the first two knuckles with jump push-ups on a hard floor. This is being the same premise as shin conditioning for me, except my knuckles and wrists have become stronger. Because of this, I've always been able to crack the bag with little worry. Unfortunately though, the human skull is designed to take trauma. I've still injured my hand punching people in the head. Luckily though, there has never been a break in my hand doing so. I attribute the integrity of my fist to this very exercise. It's simple, but requires pain tolerance. But as you do it, me on just the first two knuckles, eventually your hands get strong enough to withstand the force you generate, so as long as you don't crack someone's forehead. The human fist is actually designed to punch. When buttressed, when it's closed, when it's sealed tight, it's actually built to deliver force. But as it developed, so did the human skull, the forehead in particular, is designed to withstand force, and so my target areas of the temples or everything below the eyebrows. Doing this on a regular basis, you will develop stronger wrists, and you will develop a stronger knuckle knuckles. You will develop stronger knuckles, and the horizon you create with the first two knuckles makes connecting a lot safer. In this video, we will see just that. Jump push-ups and normal push-ups on the first two knuckles. As a result, when my hands heal, more and more do they become like stone. This is why I feel comfortable in civilized society. A fight should never happen if you're cool and calm, sensible. But I'm a normal man who's very optimistic and positive. I naturally have other people who are bigger sizing me up on a regular basis. It doesn't work though because I know most people have never really been in a physical altercation, let alone train, and if I'm cool and, there's, and understanding, I'm threatened, but also listen, I'm compassionate, kind. If I am doing the right things to de-escalate, usually nothing happens, but if I am forced, I know at very least, when I connect, it won't be worth it. It's not worth it. None of it is worth it. It's as Miyamoto Musashi had said, the aim of martial arts is to never have to use them. Nonetheless though, that's what every man should become. Not the best fighter in the world, but instead unworried because regardless of what happens, it just is not worth it to get into an altercation. That's how every good man in civilized society should feel. Because of law enforcement and because the fundamentals are trained, it's just not worth messing with you. Regardless of what happens, diplomacy is a natural result because the end result makes talking and chilling out much more reasonable as a course of action. Everyone should be confident enough in their hands to break someone's nose at very least. That's what I believe, and from there, if you're humble, kind, understanding, patient, there should never be a fight in civilized society altogether. That's why I train my hands this way, and so hopefully I never have to use them because the aura I have, the confidence and the compassion, the patience, the kindness that I intertwine with that, it creates a mesh, a matrix of it's not worth escalating to this point. Let's just be cool. We made it this far in civilized society. We have more important things to worry about. This is not worth it. That is what I implore for everyone, regardless of who they are and where they come from. To be kind, patient, understanding, but confident with strong boundaries as men. It doesn't matter what you look like, what size you are. You can become someone not worth messing with if you discipline yourself. And I believe as an average male, I'm evidence of that. I work very hard to cultivate the confidence that I have. I used to have horrible anxiety. I used to clinically diagnose depression. And even now, I've been diagnosed with psychosis. I have a lot going on, it seems. But over time, I'll overcome this as I have overcome everything else. I'm just a normal man. I'm not perfect. And I'm not special. We all are. We are, we are all special in our own way. Of course, that's a mantra we all understand. I am too in my own way, sure. And so if I can be kind, patient, understanding, but also confident, I think the same potential for diplomacy can be cultivated by anyone regardless of shape and size. Please be safe and make sure others feel safe around you. That's what the Divine Masculine does. It makes the world feel safer. The Divine Masculine makes the world safe. It helps create a safer world. I implore this for all of you. Much love for all of you. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Peace.